Hey everybody, it's Party Lead, and we are back with some more Dawn of Man action today. Hopefully a fairly well, action-packed episode, I suppose. Some humble beginnings, and we are hopefully going to hunt down a mammoth at some point during this session. That's not a mammoth. <laughs> uh, that's not a mammoth at all. I just saw something woolly, and I was like, there's a mammoth. There we go. There's the mammoth I was looking for. Uh, I knew they were going to be around here because at the end of the last session, we left them over here, but uh, yeah. This is what we're going to look to hunt today. Or, you know, maybe we start a little easier and go after the woolly rhino and then go after the woolly mammoth. Not sure. We'll see. We'll see how I'm feeling when we get closer to it. We're going to try and avoid all these lions and all that nonsense. No need to pick a fight over here. Oh my god, what's going on over here? This poor thing is going to die. Something's going to die here. So as you can see in this game, nature takes its own course. Wow, that lion got absolutely wrecked. Oh no, this one's not going to have a good time. No, no. Oh... Down it goes. So yes, nature does sort of go along on its own, do its own thing around you. And as we learned last session, you can get attacked by lions. You can, uh, as we learned a couple sessions ago, you can get attacked by things you're hunting. A lot of interesting stuff can happen uh, over the course of life in this time period. For now, though, we've got a couple of unhappy people. Why? Morale is low. I'm wondering if... I mean, we've had our fun with the uh, the skull holes up here. People are coming here to, you know, sort of help their morale sometimes, but I'm wondering if I should, in fact, have some more down over here, or maybe I, I make a path up this way, starting down here so that we still maintain our little, you know, inside story of this mountain, but also make it a bit more convenient to increase morale without having to travel as far. Why are you idle when you could be going up here? Make yourself feel better. Oh, no, don't go to raw meat. Go up here. To whatever. You do you, man. You do you, old man. Uh, down here, we've got some fishing going and some water gathering going. And as we can see, the fishing... I do love... Uh, I just love when games include the little animations for everything. So, pretty neat to see the fishing going down. And I should probably get ourselves some more uh, skins drying. Let's automate these tasks again. And to right-click. Automate these tasks. Automate this task as well. We can get some more skin coming out and uh, preparing some more outfits for the winter, especially as more people hopefully arrive fairly soon. We should probably get another tent down on that note. Let's get the tent down over here. Back-to-back -back housing. Very cookie-cutter housing, actually. Not that cookie cutters were a thing back in this time period. Not that cookies were a thing, but, you know, we'll get there. All right, so bows need sticks and... That's dry skin. Yeah, so they need sticks and dry skin to make bows. And we've got sticks being collected over here. Hopefully there's still... No, we are out of sticks in this area. So let's go ahead and remove this. Find another stick area. Um, up to hunt. There we go. Gather sticks. Literally the first one. And let's do it in... I want to get... The closer we can stay, the faster we'll be. So let's go ahead and do it over here. Pick up these sticks. Come back over here. Drop them off. And uh, hopefully, again, we need to do some more hunting to get some more skin so we can get some more things produced. Nothing near here. We wait for some of the animals to come a little bit closer, or we can send a couple people over to attack this thing. Get a decent bit of food off of that, I think. Get a decent bit of, decent bit of material, even, as a whole. Uh, some fishing done over here. Probably use you to hunt. You and you both. Probably used to hunt. And you as well. You've got a, yeah, flint spear. What about you? You've got a flint spear as well. Let's get all four of you over to hunt. It's close enough. Now, I, I believe in the comments it was mentioned that I should wait until animals get a little bit closer and then I can hunt them. But in some cases, like, I just can't be that patient. Uh, spring is about to end, so I need to get some more meat and hide and stuff back at uh, back at home sooner rather than later. Get some more, you know, outfits happening in case more people arrive. Get some more structures built. That's too much to do to wait sometimes. Now, I don't want to overhunt, obviously. I don't want to depopulate the uh, the area, obviously, but I um, only have so much time to spare. Just check this whole knowledge situation. I was hoping to get some uh, grain processing and pulse processing done so we can get cereal domestication and get into the Neolithic era. We're saving up for seven knowledge points. No, 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 don't mind. Oh, you can double right click to run. Who knew? Some of you must have known. I did not know. All right, let's go ahead and regroup. 
Get everybody over here so we don't scare this beast off. Okay, let's go for the hunt. Four of us should be able to take this down without any issues. At least a bit of meat to be had here, I think. There we go. Stock on over. Stock on over. A couple quick shots should do the trick here. Come on. There we go. Smoothly done. Beautifully done. And we can actually all harvest this thing just to make it a bit faster, please. We really have to do this one at a time. Where are you off to? Well, getting strawberries, apparently. Fair enough. Is there any more hunting to do over here in the meanwhile? We do have... Oh, man. That looks so cute, even from a distance. I don't want to hurt this thing, but I'm going to have to. Since we're already in the area. I guess she just needs to eat a quick bite. Fine, fair enough. Let's harvest this uh, this beast over here. Get its meat, get its skin, and then we'll go hunting again soon. We are in summer, soon to be in the dead of summer. Getting a bit warmer, so people will probably be using their leather outfits, if I'm understanding this correctly. Um, do we have tannin? I believe I put down a tannin collector. So we should still be collecting some. Could maybe get an extra person. And let's get um, this out. No, not this. Resources, animal speed, defense, food. No, I want, um, I was hoping to find something that would, uh, tell me how busy people are, how much work we're actually doing. Like, if we have any idle individuals, if I'm properly, uh, you know, using all the people. A couple more trees to cut down over here, well, a handful more to cut down over here. Get lots of logs like that, and I might actually want some more sledges put down as well. Hmm. Wondering if I'd rather save this skin for uh, for other uses, because we have three of these. Don't remember where the other two are, but we have three of these. We'll be fine. I'll probably put down a few more in a bit. Uh, can we continue harvesting this beast, please? Use every part of the animal, please. Old female. We've got some children that can probably get the work. Oh, I bet this person's taking the sledge over to, to help with that. We'll find out. Ooh. Two sledges. Heading in the same direction. Now, don't mind certain visual glitches and bugs and issues like that. This game is in... It's still a development build, as you can see at the bottom right corner. It's releasing at the end of March, I believe. And just as a note, because I do believe some of you asked, it's not releasing in early access. So when the game releases, it is a full release. There's no early access period, nothing like that. So in the next you know, three or so months, this game will be completely finished off, polished, and ready to go. And my intention, my intention is to do a full-fledged review when the time comes. Um, so that you guys can actually make a judgment call on if you want the game or know what have you uh so i will be doing hopefully a full review at the time to actually get um my opinion out on the completed product as well let's send those these folks over actually let's regroup a little bit over here i'm so glad to have found out that double right clicking makes people sprint it probably tires them out a little bit more but totally worth it at times let's rush you over to there and it looks like we're doing a more full harvest over here wow this is the sledges are actually so helpful because we're we're picking everything up right away rather than having to do multiple trips. As like, you know, one would predict, but... Are you super tired or something? Why are you not running? Okay, well, close enough, I think. Give the hunt order. We don't need as many people to hunt. I, I'm not sure why they're running back or why one of them's running back. All right, they just regrouped. Fair enough. They can go together. Uh, we have a newborn child. That's our population of 25. We have a capacity of 24, which is not ideal. Hopefully, this thing will get done soon. Set that to a high priority. Thought I had more skin. I do not. That is not good. There's one coming through. We just need one more. This is what I mean. I need to keep the hunts happening. I need to stay on top of that, because otherwise I find myself in this situation. Oh my god, they're coming back. You dragging two? Yeah. 
on skin on that and there's another one which i cannot there we go two skins on this all right cool three gonna get some more from over here wherever this boar is are we even going towards it no yes turn one of you around to go after this one instead again we don't need we don't need three people against one female boar they are not aggressive they're an easy hunt Feel a little bad about not domesticating some of these things instead but we don't even have that ability yet wow one hit kill yeah, this won't be a problem either do we have any more in the area any more boar down you go i don't think so Hmm, I'm a little worried. Again, I need to be careful. As far as I understand, there is, or rather there are, like, repopulation mechanics and stuff. Like, this stuff actually matters if you over, um, overdo it. If you overhunt and overfish. Overfishing seems like it's not much of a problem. They seem to replenish pretty quickly. But, you overhunt, looks like that's uh, a problem, from what I understand. Let's set up fishing over here. If people start coming to fish, I think we might be short a few people. We have these skins drying over here as well. This child is just watching the skin dry. I mean, hey, you do what you want to do to have a good time, I guess. Entertainment was hard to come by back then. And I'm wondering if I should put down more hearths, not only for more cooking, but also for um, more knowledge points. We do have seven, so we could get the grain processing here. Go ahead and do that. No reason not to. Grain processing unlocked. Now, before I dive in on that, I believe I have a flint area. Well, I didn't have a flint area. I just targeted an area for flint mining. Megalith. Should be able to obtain stone from this area. And I should be able to obtain flint. Ooh. I only just acquired 10 fruit. Damn. Taking my time. All right, let's acquire flint from this area. Drink this a little bit. Keep it over here so I actually see this banner. Because I often forget about banners that are tucked away behind trees. Because I don't catch them. I don't remember exactly where I've placed things, if I'm perfectly honest. It happens every once in a while. And uh, that causes trouble. Ooh, look at this little migration happening over here. This is Now is the time to strike. Now is the time to strike. Let's go. And with grain processing unlocked, allows you to harvest wild cereals, crush them into flour, and make bread. Alright. Alright. We will do just that. Three of you up over here. Where? Where'd they go? Oh, there they are. Hiding behind these trees. <laughs> Okay, let's rush on over. Get close enough, and we should be able to hunt pretty quickly. As they try to leave over the water as well, I should be able to take another one down. Again, just trying to collect as many skins and stuff as possible as soon as possible. We're getting bows done finally. Here we go. Let's try and drop as many of these as possible. While I talk about not wanting to overhunt. Come on, come on, finish this one off. No need to sneak anymore. Wow, that's a lot of life actually on this one. Well, one's down. We'll harvest this one. Let the other let the others be for now. A decent bit of meat and skin and bone. Oh, I don't know if it's enough to last us the, the coming winter though. Will you back up here? Try and take something else down. Try and take uh, this adult female down. Not gonna lie, I kind of feel bad. I'm doing this for survival, but... You know how it is. You kind of feel bad when... Uh, <laughs> when you just ruthlessly depopulate a species, right? I'm not the only one who feels bad, right? Alright, how are we doing? This thing needs one more dry skin. Almost done. Then it'll be built. We'll have a better capacity. And I should probably build another tent as well. 
we, we want to be able to house many more people, obviously. We want to grow as quickly as possible. I imagine 30 is another milestone, another knowledge point is waiting for us. And let's also build a production, a rock to crush grain into flour. Where do I place you? Where do I place you? So we've got uh, storage here. We've got manufacturing here, so to speak. You know, this is cooking. I guess we could, I guess this falls under manufacturing. So let's put you down over here. And let's also put down, well, I guess the hearth makes it into bread. Damn, Ranger got away. Hmm. Well, we'll get this done for now. And I believe, oops, that's not what I meant. That helps us make grain, which I believe some of this is probably... Oh, this is not... I just assumed. Unless there is something else. Tannin, wild plants, water, flint, hunt. Yeah, it should be this. My assumption. These are all fruits. What's the right time of year uh, to harvest? I guess fall, right? That would make make sense. We'll check in. We'll check in the fall. It's right around the corner. We'll check in the fall. This guy's like lugging back stone, one piece at a time. All right, we're good here. This thing's almost done, so that'll be good. Have room to actually house all the people we have. God. Bit of a mishap there. And uh, I wonder if we should look to hunt more things. These guys are bringing stuff back from those boars. Nothing else over here. I wonder if... Yeah, I wonder if the fall will bring more animals a bit closer to us. Look at these children. Look at these dutiful children. Harvesting that uh, reindeer. Would have been a lot more helpful to have a sledge up there, but no. But no. Right, these are both getting done. These bows are getting done as well. How many bows do we actually have? Only two. Hopefully some of our hunters are starting to use them. And I'm still not sure if spears are being returned or discarded when, uh, when we advance in technology. Still not 100% sure. What I am sure of, though, is we're going to get ourselves some more sledges. They've been quite helpful. And even though they don't stay here, I'm going to build them here. There. Get those done. And I wonder if we speed up time a little bit. Don't see anything else that we can hunt in the area. This is for picking up plants. Okay, fair enough. Those are the reindeer that got away from us. Okay. Okay. Do I have enough food? Eight vegetables, eight fish, 18 meat. Last the winter. All right, completely missed that notification in previous playthroughs or previous episodes. Um, let's try and get some more flint coming in. Imagine there's more somewhere here. There we go, nice big, nice big chunks of flint. Kind of far away, but uh, might as well harvest it now. And what's our capacity now? A capacity of 30. Alright, fair enough. That should be done soon. This is waiting for one more stone. Good people are happy enough, I think. I think we're doing well enough. I think we're doing well enough. Let's go ahead and speed time up a little bit. Try and get ourselves to fall. Got decent meat coming in as well. You know what? I only counted this. Oh, that's actually total of raw and cured. Fair enough. Alright, so this makes flour. flour. One flour makes two breads. Cool. So what I'm going to do before I interact with the trader is I'm actually going to build another hearth. Ooh. Over here. For quicker work. Hypothetically, let's deal with this trader now. If I could click on the trader. There we go. And let's get ourselves, let's see, let's get ourselves... Ooh, pulse processing. 
Damn, that's expensive. Bone goes for a decent price. I don't think I can afford this. Get rid of my wooden spears. Get rid of some logs. Get rid of some tannin. Don't necessarily want to get rid of my bows. Yeah, I can't. There's no way I can afford this. Yeah, I even if I gave everything up, I don't think I could afford this. Oh, no. Okay, if I give almost literally everything up. I guess I could surrender some more skins outfits. For the technological advancement, I think this is probably worth it. That's a lot of my cured meat gone. Need to keep food. You know what? Here's what we're going to do. We're going to keep the food there. And let's keep some of the... Well, bone is worth more. Keep some of the flint as well. And some of the tannin. A perfect trade. Cool. Pulse processing unlocked. So this allows you to harvest wild pulses and cook them. Cool. So that means... With these two done, we just need 15 knowledge points to unlock the Neolithic Era. And that's when we can actually start... Um, growing barley, einkorn, and emmer. If I understand this correctly. And that'll that'll take us to the to a very serious step as far as as far as history is concerned, as far as our history as a species is concerned. So you know what? A worthwhile trade. We can we can make more skins, outfits. We'll be fine. We'll be fine. I don't think if we can make enough before the winter. Actually, that was maybe a bit of a mistake. <laughs> don't need a leather outfit. Okay, no more building stuff unless it requires any literally anything other than skin. Let's go ahead and see if we can't hunt something down for plentiful meat and skin. Like this. Alright. Got a mouflon over here. If you have anything off to the right, don't necessarily want to go after... You know what? Maybe it's time for a woolly rhino. Tall order. But it might be worth it. Don't know where you're going or where you're going. Probably for, like, flint and stone and stuff. Wondering if we regroup and, uh... Try and hunt. Get you over to here. Well, actually, let's get both of you over to here. Who else? Who else can join us on this venture? You, do you have a... Yeah, you've got a bone spear. Let's get you over to here. This person's going to take forever to swim over. Come on, hurry up. Straight line, and then we'll run over. Okay. And you, you've got a bone spear as well. All right. I'm actually quite worried about um, this hunt. I'm not going to lie. You do not have a spear. Three hunters. Is three hunters enough? Do we think three hunters is enough? Maybe if they didn't run away like that. Alright, cool. We've got the three of you. Do we need a fourth? Yes, let's get this guy. Cool. Okay, get them all to run together. And hopefully the four of us can take down the woolly rhino. If I can find it again. There you are. Rush on over. Let's rush on over to the same side, please. Let's try and work together. Good thing there's a little land bridge over here. Oh, boy. Four people. Is four people enough? I'm starting to have my doubts. I'm starting to have my doubts. The skull pole. You go ahead and do that. No, 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 no. Let's go ahead. It's the four of you. Someone might die today. Someone might die today. Especially if you two aren't going to keep running. Come on now. Come on now. You're healthy. You're happy. 
We need to make sure all these, like, spears fire at, like, virtually the same time. 450 health. Oof. Hide behind this rock over here. Come on, come on. Thought we would get a woolly mammoth, but we're starting off with a woolly rhino. Probably a good starting point. Keep moving a bit closer. In comes the fall. For the winter, we need a lot more skins, outfits. Alright, I'm terrified. See how this goes. See how this goes. Oh god. Oh god. Come on, 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 come on. No! Alright, we're okay. We're okay. Someone took a bad hit there. But no one died. Right? Oh no, did someone- No, no, no. Every everyone's fine. Everyone's fine. No one died. That was a good thwack, though. Who took that hit? Who took that hit like an absolute champ? Oh, you know what? That wasn't actually all that bad. It was this guy over here. No, it was... This guy over here? Yeah, she took the hit and didn't even get all that badly hurt. Well done. Well done. I can't wait until the bows are actually starting start to get used for hunting, actually. <laughs> that would be quite helpful, I think. And it looks like we've got these skins outfits getting ready for the winter. We've got 8 so far, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 1, 2, 3. We'll, we'll get the two that are remaining afterwards. So I'm guessing this is being carried over to harvest that uh, rhino, which is good, nice and helpful. Ooh, what do we have all the way over here? Okay, these are just orcs. These are just orcs. A hey, back at home. Wondering if I should cancel this bow production. Focus on skins for now. God knows we're going to need it. This is just the start of fall. And actually, let's go ahead and see if I can't place... Where? Where? Oh, there we go. Don't want to like destroy this. There's just the one area. I'm gonna put this over here so I should be able to see it at least. We're gonna get iron corn from here. I guess once we start harvesting stuff, that should help our knowledge points as well. Again, we want 15. To get us a cereal domestication, and then we can actually start growing our own uh, our own stuff. Can I click on this yet? No. Wondering if there'd be another update to allow me to do that again. Um, I'm pretty sure this is not a good idea. Did the child leave it there? Is that what happened? Also, I should have checked how much the woolly rhino actually gave us. It looks like a lot. Looks like a lot. Got an entire train basically going back and forth. Meat, meat, bones. Ah, oh, I wish I checked sooner. My bad, folks, my bad. I know many of you are watching curiously to learn as much as possible about, uh, about this game before you decide to buy it or not. So I try to cover as many things as possible. If there's anything you have questions about, if you're, if you're curious about anything, uh, let me know and I will, uh, you know, I'll try and cover it. Uh, but I do apologize for the times that I kind of... Uh, forget that there's something you guys might be interested in finding out or looking at, and uh, I skip past it. Uh, but your reminders in the comments do help. I also want to mention, of course, if you would like to see more of this game on the channel, especially in its early stages, let me know by dropping a like and a comment down below. As I've mentioned countless time, times for other games, I do look at those uh, numbers to inform me as to your interests about what you would like to see more or less of, so that I can um, approach things accordingly. So I can approach things accordingly. Um, of course, your opinion is extremely important to me because that's why I do things. That's why this channel exists. If it wasn't for your interests uh, in what I cover, then then there would be no reason to have this channel, let's be honest. Uh, so yeah, let me know. Make sure you let me know. 
Okay, so this has all been taken care of. Wow, that was fast. No, it wasn't fast because there's still a lot to take care of. Cool. Let's speed time up, though. That should help us quite significantly in getting through the winter. Now, there's some reindeer that we could hunt. I think just the two of you should be able to do the trick. What are you up to? Okay. Whoa, 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 whoa. That's gonna help. Wow, I actually feel really bad about that. Um, I saw it happen and now I'm, I'm feeling a little unhappy. <laughs> wow, this game. Look at that. It was an adult male and an adult female just roaming through. Got a little too close to my village and I'm just like, you know what? That's, that's meat and skin and bone. Winter's approaching and I just, I just killed their kids. I just killed their kids. Just like that. All right. Enough tearing up over, uh, animal, pixel animals. We must survive. This game's about speed time up a little bit. Got a lot of food coming through. We should be, uh, I think we should be fine for the winter. I need to adjust this location a bit. Might have overfished a little bit. Fish up over here. All right, all right. Doing well enough so far. Now, people aren't arriving. Stuck at 25. Prestige is pretty high. Hopefully some things will help us out here. Wait. Oh, that's the total. I'm like, we don't have any sheep. Hopefully we can start, uh... Um... Domesticating soon. Welfare is crawling up slowly, which is good. We have a lot more food... Skins need to be completed as well. We've got these things drying. Get you auto drying. Come on. Not even interested in the sledges. I'm more interested in all these skins. There we go. Damn, this stuff's working as well. And then do you go, where do you go? You store it first, of course, and then you cook it. That's kind of dumb. I put this hearth here for a reason. New human has joined the settlement. Three of them. Excellent timing. I was just talking about the uh, lack of interest in our, in our city. Uh, all right, we need to move this. Continue growing. Which way? I have to start considering where we're going to farm and stuff, so... Maybe we, uh, start cutting down the trees. Hold on now. We've got enough room for housing, right? If we continue to build houses over here by the water. If I clear up the trees up here, I think that'd be quite nice. It's a good, good, relatively somewhat flat-ish area for, for growing crops. Not really. This is a terrible spot for growing crops. Let's drop it down over here. There's some nice flat areas over here. If we can clear this out, we can grow a crop there. Acquired some knowledge here as well, which is quite helpful. Still a long way to go before we can uh, enter the Neolithic era. Fair enough. Fall is about to end, winter is about to hit us, and we are going to have... Uh... Not enough skins outfits. Actually, it says 24, so I don't need this many. But one extra is not going to kill us. All right, that, that woolly mammoth alone supplied us with a lot of skin and meat. I really need to uh, hunt fewer larger animals. Fewer larger animals, that's the way to go. And let's make sure we don't kill everything off around us. Because that'll obviously cause us trouble in the long run. Now, the woolly mammoth, which is my next target, our next big claim was roaming around here earlier but that was during what the oh there we go 540 health you know what shouldn't be a problem old female a little bit weaker shouldn't be a problem i wonder if we go out not in the summer but in the next uh fall or something 
Where do we go out now? There's enough idle people here. A long way to go. One of you bring the sledge. Over to here. Get you over to here. Gone to the sledge. Can you bring it with you? You can. Okay, cool. This is a big hunt. This is going to be our biggest hunt yet. Seven people. Eight people. I'm a, I'm a little tense. We're sending eight men and women over. Many of them old. Some of them young. Eager to learn from their forefathers. From their still living forefathers. One of them carrying a sledge. This is a long trip as well. This is no short trip. To the land of the mammoth. Long way to go. Jeez, I hope we can actually make it. Okay, winter will fall. It'll start to cool down a little bit. Should have, like, let them eat and stuff before we made our way over. Question is, how do we get over? Surely they'll find their way. Alright. Sledge is still being carried over. Long way to go. I should have maybe brought two sledges now that I think about it. This is pretty cool though. Like, this is pretty cool to watch this, like, journey being undertaken. It's like, you know, one you know, village elder or something, or, or, or a young boy spoke of this giant woolly beast, you know, when he was drinking water one day by the river. And, uh, and, and now we're, we're sending a bunch of our, you know, most skilled hunters out to see what this boy was on about or to see what this elder had seen. And, uh, and hopefully we're going to come across, yes, a giant woolly mammoth. We're going to bring home. Oh, look at that. That, that thing is stalking or it's hurt. Either stalking or it's hurt. But yeah, so, you know, we did this journey over the mountain pass and now we're making our way over. Oh, yeah, look at that. That's totally a hunt. That's so cool. That's so cool. It's not, like, the most awesome animation to represent it, but, like, the fact that this system exists, that there's, there's this underlying mechanic. Oh, sorry. That's... I get... I love that kind of stuff in games like this. And the fact that I could tell that it was stalking. I thought it may have been injured, you know, after the fact. I was like, I don't know if, if the wild cats actually stalk in this game, but lo and behold, they do. Love it. Love it. What's going on over here? Oh, dear. Oh, it's the circle of life. That's what's going on over here. Are you over before uh, we're left with nothing? You just dropped the sledge? I think he did. There it is. Okay, at least I can highlight it. At least it's not as far to go. There's the mammoth. I wonder if we should scare this thing off first. Oh, no. They're, they're staying there, it looks like. I don't think they're going to pick a fight with us. I hate when I right-click the ground and it lands on sticks or something. We're actually scaring them off. It's pretty funny. All right, mammoth hunt time. A lot of us are coming together. You're feeling kind of cold. That's not so good. Hey, that's my mammoth. You dare take it from me. Look at how much... Oh my god, how much it gives us. Down with you. Okay, let's go. I want this mammoth. It is running away from me. Right before my very eyes. I, mean, I guess I can harvest the fallen one, but this is supposed to be a hunt. A little land bridge, it looks like it is. All right, let's go. Let's go. Oh, God. Oh, God. Come on. Come on. Come on. Yes. Down it goes. And you're thirsty, right next to its corpse. Fair enough. Do what you have to. Do what you have to. We've got a couple of, uh... 
couple of hunts to claim, actually. We'll butcher you as well. All these set up for butchering. Okay, and look at that. 9, 14, and 4. That is quite the hunt. And uh, we are capable of taking out mammoths. Now, what scares me is that the only mammoths in the area, or what I believe to be the only mammoths in the area, have been taken out. And that terrifies me. Hopefully more will come. I hope I haven't just completely eliminated the woolly mammoth in my in my region. Uh, we have set this one to be butchered. We've set this one to be butchered. These are set to be butchered as well. I think we're bringing back a sledge. Hopefully we don't let some cave lines or something get to it. And we left a sledge behind where? Here. So not too far away. Not too far away when we get that gave that run command. But I'm glad we did. I'm glad we did because if I hadn't, then, um, then we might not have got this mammoth. I'm gonna speed time up a little bit. Okay, so we are we are bringing stuff. Couldn't see the harvesting happening, so I got a little nervous. We are starting to bring things. A lot of stuff is on the ground, which hopefully no one's gonna come and eat. What are you doing? How dare you? Oh no. We finally lost somebody. We finally lost somebody to my uh <laughs> to my willingness to risk lives. At least we're going back. We'll have better outfits as they come back to, to gather more resources. Look at this train of children. Look at this train of children we're sending to pick up all the resources. We have a sledge right here. Oh my god, do we really need to do this? This is so risky. Or at least bring another sledge with you if you're going to go with a train of children. God damn it. I guess we haven't finished those sledges. Oh, well, we're going to make it through this winter, okay. Hopefully no one else has to die of hypothermia. There, there is a lot of harvesting to do here, though. There's, like, all of this. There's all of this. There's the two cave lions that, uh, I think just kind of rotted away, it looks like. Yeah, it looks like it. But, wow, that was a successful hunt, and we are getting quite a bit out of it. Now, hopefully this bear doesn't get attracted to the smell of children. Because that'll be a bit of a problem if that happens. Oh, my God. I mean, I guess this is effective. Oh, don't you dare. Oh, bear. Stay away, stay away, stay away. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, it's just drinking water. It's just drinking water. Peacefully coexisting. Don't eat raw meat. What are you doing? I'm terrified of this bear right now. It's like the bear is terrified of me as well. Alright, cool. We're surviving. We're making it. We're making it. What have we got going on over here? A lot of these things need repairs, which is not ideal. You're hungry. Do we not? We have food. Let's get ourselves some fish. And some bread. And some meat. In place of some logs. And some... Bone. We got lots of bone coming. Do that. I think that's a fair trade. Get some more leather. That doesn't make sense. <laughs> Let's just do this. Cool. Away with you. Hopefully we start repairing some of this stuff. We just need dry skin. We are auto-producing dry skin, so as soon as the, uh... Skins arrive, that should happen. Don't need another skins outfit. We could start making some more bows, though. Replace some of our old equipment. A new human was born. We're up at 28 again. These repairs need to happen. Quickly. We have raw skin just sitting there doing nothing. Looking pretty. As pretty as raw skin can look. Look at this. This. Like, of course you're gonna freeze and be hungry. Why are you doing this? You should've just brought the sledge. Speaking of which, where is the sledge? I'm trying to select it. See if I can't highlight it and recognize it by that method. I should hope it's being used effectively, otherwise I'll be a little annoyed. Oh, there's a storm coming. There's a storm coming in the middle of the winter, so is it going to be a blizzard? Or is it going to rain? 
It's gonna rain. Fair enough. It's raining in negative three degrees temperatures. Not how that works, but okay. Freezing rain just gets very slippery. People start sliding off the mountains over here and dying. That wouldn't be too good. Oh, that's a serious storm. Lots of dry fish here waiting to be cooked, I suppose. No other reason to keep it here, I'd imagine. We've got plenty of room in the storage tents. Jeez. Reindeers over here. Relaxing, having a good time. Not giving a care in the world. Need time up a little bit. Holy crap. The gods are angry. Killed that mammoth. We shouldn't have... We shouldn't have done it. But our greed knows no bounds. Look at how plentiful the... Uh, Air quotes, harvest was at Survive the Winter. That gives us knowledge, which is nice and helpful. Gonna start warming up. Gonna get a little bit greener again. And beautiful. It is springtime. Beautiful, beautiful springtime. Now hopefully we'll get all these things repaired. Looks like we're working on it. This one got repaired. It looks like we're working on it. I wonder if we get another tent built as well. Yeah, and our capacity is 30 right now. We'd like that to go up sooner, obviously. So let's go ahead and build. Well, it's all about balance, I guess. Do I really want to have a higher population sooner? Because I have to support that higher population before I can domesticate. And I want to get to domestication quickly. I, I, and I'm still waiting for seven more knowledge points. I'm trying to figure out what else I could do. I mean, I've got tents happening. I could build... Um, building five storage tents feels just useless. Building five of these feels, five mortars as well, feels useless. Already collected 100 water, I've collected 100 cured meat. I guess I could fish more. Maybe I need some more harpoons, actually. Maybe that's why people aren't fishing. Maybe that's why it looks like people aren't fishing. I'm, I've, like, rarely seen fishing happening. Mark you for fishing as well. Alright. Because we have a decent population. We should be fishing fairly consistently, I would think. Got water, got fish. Yeah, and just nervous about, um... Just constantly nervous about surviving another winter. Alright, we're cooking. We're preparing more bows. Hopefully we're going to start hunting with said bows. More harpoons being made. Alright, in come all the animals, looks like. Reindeers are coming back. We've got some bison. Just out over here. I like to have animal domestication happening as well. Pretty soon, goat, sheep, and pig domestication is up. Constant supply of food and meat. And uh, opens the gateway to war as well. That's why we have fortifications available. So yes, there is fighting in this game. Obviously, it takes time to get there. There is, there is fighting in this game. I've got a decent position. Water on two sides. There's, of course, the, uh... Little sandbar over here. Mountains to the back of us. We can build a true, like, you know... Defensive... Giant here. Not, not actually. This is not a very tall mountain at all. Uh, this, that's a tall mountain off in the distance there. I don't know if we can reach that far. Okay, got a little bit of fishing going on. Yeah, that's why I feel like we were out of harpoons, maybe. All well, the fishing stopped suddenly. Very abruptly. Bison coming a little bit closer. Got a bow. We don't have a bow. Wonder if we go and hunt some of this bison down. Run you up to here. It's very close, so it shouldn't be too difficult for us. No one's gonna die of hypothermia. We won't have to mourn anyone. On which note, I should build another one of these, uh, skull poles. These are easy. Ooh, the bison. That's probably what I want to get. Four of us. Your health is what? 300? Ah, that shouldn't be a challenge. Unless both of these turn around and attack us, that shouldn't be a problem. 
Oh, don't just lie down. Can't really get a good view here, unfortunately. Oh, they both came. Holy crap. There we go. All right. Well, that uh, that resulted in more meat than I was expecting. It also resulted in more hurt than I was expecting. Damn. Ayad here took a lot of damage. But no one died. No one died. What doesn't kill you makes you stronger. As a people, as a society, as a community, we're better for it. Right? That's that silver lining thinking that the world needs. Now, we got all of this raw hide. Where is it sitting? I feel like we don't have the dry skin to reflect just how much raw skin we collected off of those mammoths. I guess it wasn't all that much skin as much as it was meat. Well, at least these bisons will provide us with some skin. Getting some more bows out there as well. Fair enough, fair enough. These sledges aren't getting completed without skin. The desperate need for, for flesh here. A lot of reindeers we could try taking down. Look at that, these children coming in to help harvest. We do what we need to, I guess. Could send the two of these to hunt something else down. Got uh, an adult male boar that I do not want to pick a fight with right now. Maybe just pick off one of these reindeers over here. Then we can harvest a little bit as well. Should help us, um... Harvesting should help us with our knowledge points and stuff as well. Hopefully we're able to hunt this down pretty easily. How much health does it have? 170. So a couple hits. Should take it down. As long as it doesn't run away too far. That's my only concern. It might run away. Get away from us and then... We'll have to chase it down. Don't really want to chase it down. Come on. Ah! Damn it. And keep missing like that. Yeah, it's probably gonna get away from us. Not moving nearly fast enough. Alright, alright, alright. Don't waste time. Don't waste time. Pull back, pull back. Let's go ahead and harvest. Can only be done in fall. I don't wanna kill a baby. The babies are nested. They're, they're, the babies are my survival. Need the babies to live. I could corner you. There we go. Nice. One more hit. I need one more hit. Come on. Oh, what a throw. What a throw. Look at that. That was actually quite glorious. <laughs> All right. Good stuff. Good stuff. Now we've got... What's our capacity? 33. Really? That's it? I guess that's it. I want to be able to upgrade my housing situation soon. That's over in the Neolithic era for thatching. We can get some huts happening. And stables. Outfitter, we have so much technology to unlock. But yeah, thatching comes with, uh, with the Neolithic era. Still a ways to go for that. Still a ways to go for that. Speed time up a little bit. Got a lot of meat coming back. Lots of raw meat coming back, obviously. We'll dry up soon enough. Alright, 100 raw skin. That's another knowledge point. I feel like I might need more leather outfit. Like, I don't... I, maybe it doesn't get hot enough over here to need leather outfits. No one ever has complained about being... About overheating. Which is what makes me feel like we don't need... Uh, Leather outfits. Why? Why did you just turn off? Keep getting water. Over here, what have we got going on? Thirsty animals. Ooh, new humans have joined. Alright, awesome. Uh, we might have just reached... No, we need three more points. Fifteen. For some reason, I thought it was ten. Anyway, we are now at a population of thirty. Two new people have joined us. Hopefully, they're adults and they can be contributing members of society. Do we look for... 
more animals. Can this be harvested right now? No. Fall. Fall harvest for everything. Alright, what else have we got? I wonder if we go chasing after another mammoth or auric or bison or something. Because clearly we're a lot more capable of hunting right now. These things have all been cleared out. Yeah, we are a lot better at hunting now. Compared to before when... What what was it that took us down? I feel like it was a... I feel like it was a male, like, auric or something. Could be mistaken. We've got a lot of bows out on the field as well. Use that. I don't think we need slings now that we've got bows. Kind of skipped that step in the uh, technology tree a little bit. Um... What's going on with flint? Got a flint harvesting area somewhere here. Might have completely used it up. No. We're still getting flint. And do we have a flint pick? We do have a flint pick. We Do we have, um, got axes? What else do we need? We might want to get uh, flint knives and sickles. Just to speed up these processes, but we need stone polishing for that. Unfortunately, that's going to have to wait. Don't want to just get this yet. Again, I want to unlock the Neolithic era. Soon, hopefully. A trader has arrived. What do you bring? What do you bring? Stone polishing. What do you know? What are the chances? Um, Start off by getting rid of the bone. And this has a value of 10. Bows have a value of 15. Got one sitting around. Don't want to give away my dry skin. Guess I could get rid of some of these skins outfits. The technological advancement is worth it, right? 23. Couple logs. You know what? Couple more logs. And some flint. Yeah, I think I prefer that. And uh, let's actually get the bone back. Or rather, let's get flint back. Okay. Worth it, I think. We get we earn a whole new technology. I think that's worth it. Let's, uh, yeah, let's go for it. We'll have to get some skins happening. Or some skins outfits, I should say, happening. Stone polishing has been unlocked, and that should allow us to build. Well, how do we polish stone? Oh, we can just do it from here, I guess. Yeah, it's just a method. Uh, let's use it for butchering and fighting, I guess. Do that, and let's get some more outfits happening as well. Quickly, hopefully. We'll need to do some hunting as well again soon. It's summer right now, but uh, as we've seen, winter comes quickly. We were fine actually for that winter. Apart from one person dying of hypothermia, we were fine. Now to be fair, that person died of hypothermia because we sent them out. They went through the water and they went over a mountain pass. A snowy mountain pass in the dead of winter. Um, which is probably not good for your survival rates, let's be honest. Wolf attack? Nowhere near me. Little child's about to get picked off. On which note, I need to... You know what? Before I forget again. Go ahead and build. Skull pole. Oh, man. Over here. Oh. Oh, crap. Is... is she okay? Okay, she's just praying to recover morale. Wow, she just barely survived there. Holy crap. We almost lost another one. At the same time as one was born. Poetry. Truly. Alright, this wolf will give us some skin and some meat, so that's good. Mainly some skin, actually, so that's interesting to note. That sledge is probably going up to pick exactly that up. And that skin should help us uh, recover our lost skins outfits. Got so much sitting around. 
feel like I have too many skins outfits, if I'm perfectly honest. All right, well, let's see. We've got uh, that wolf attack, which we have just barely survived. This person over here will hopefully heal up, come back home, rest, heal up after recovering morale. Uh, we've got another skull pole being built for the man we lost to hypothermia. And uh, apart from that, we are very, very close, very close to entering the Neolithic era and actually starting domestication of plants as well as animals. That'll be quite interesting. However, that will have to wait until the next session. This is where we're going to call it, ladies and gentlemen. We've hit that hour mark. As always, if you'd like to see more of this game on the channel, let me know by dropping a like and a comment down below. If there's anything I can do to make this series, this micro series, more interesting to you, let me know as well down below with a comment. If you have any questions, let me know down below with a comment. Of course, I'm here for you after all, as I mentioned earlier. And on which note, I'd like to give a massive thanks to all of my patrons and channel members for supporting this channel on a monthly basis, keeping us alive and keeping us running, keeping us thriving, uh, much like my settlement over here, on a monthly basis. Until next time, thank you all very much for watching, and cheers.